All right, you guys, I'm back for vlog four. This is gonna be another special vlog. I have a challenge with my son to uh, see who's gonna be a better uh, editor. So I'm uh, in charge of vlog four, he's in charge of vlog five. I need all the help I could get. I'm a 36 year old man, I turn 37 next month. He's not even 14 yet, so he's trying to outdo me. He thinks he could do all kind of better editing. So I'm gonna give him a shot, vlog five. This is vlog four. Here's what we're doing on this vlog. We are staying in Texas, unfortunately. Here's the update on Texas. The weather right now is gonna be bad. It's gonna be pretty freezing and it's gonna be very windy. So it's gonna be about 30, in the 30s as far as temperature, lower 40s. And the wind is gonna be pretty consistently 20 to 30 miles an hour. So it's gonna be a rough trip I'm about to make here. Why am I making this trip instead of going to Florida when Florida is off the chains right now? One reason, Ron Richmond. It's the only reason I'm doing this. I'm in a tournament, a uh, shark fishing rodeo. It's a year long tournament. I only wanted second place. Uh, Donnie's first place, he always gets first place. Ron Richmond is in third place. I'm in second place by 24 inches. So I, I gotta get out there. Give it at least a, another try so I could get to Florida and start catching big fish. But Ron, stop making me work hard, please. I want to go to Florida. Anyways, y'all, wish me luck. Uh, I needed all I could get. bit freezing like I said it is super windy but I'm just feeling good about this so we're just gonna just unload it right now and uh, Julian is as you can see putting in the shark rack so we're about to hook up our stuff and send it Okay, today we're using jack for bait. What I'm gonna do is show you how we're using, personally how we're using the jack for bait, how we're hooking it up right before we run it out. A lot of people use jack a lot of different ways. They hook it a lot of different ways. I'm just gonna show you my way. All right, so it's, we're in Texas again. We're hoping to catch some sandbars. Uh, probably not too big, so I don't want a particularly huge bait. So I'm just gonna make a fairly small bait. These are frozen. Should I drink some more of that monster? <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna cut the tail off. That's a nice one. Super small bait. I hate running small bait. I like it's too small. So that's my favorite section of the jack because what I'll do is I'll put the hook through this bone. When the hook's through this bone, it's not coming out. Through which bone now? Show me what's on. This bone here. Oh. Okay. Very interesting. A lot of people don't like to do that. And there's a little hole you kind of feed it through. People don't like to do it because I have to bang on the hook. But. a lot of hooks so I don't care about the hooks right <laughs> but that's it it stays in there pretty good it's not gonna double back I love it all right and then we're using copper weights I'm gonna try these copper weights out today hopefully it'll be easier to reel in once the leg breaks it should stay broken it should be easy to reel in wish us luck wow wow two freaking lines out Sent what, 350? Two, 250? All right.
right, back to you. Just had two break-offs at our last spot within 30 minutes, so packed up and headed to another spot. I think we're too close to the inlet. Pretty heartbreaking, actually. Very, very heartbreaking. So we're at a new spot, uh, way further away from the inlet. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm heartbroken and want to cry. I'm just trying to keep my big boy face on uh, for Julian so we can be strong. But uh, we already just set up camp already. Julian has two out. I'm about to run two lines right now. What's going on, brother? Got, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it was a pelican. Silly bird. It got colder. Sun's starting to go down. Man, it's icy out here. Got five cutoffs, so it's pretty savage. But take a look at our camp. So pretty cool little camp. Nice little shelter. This is what's for dinner here. Some nice steaks. Good morning, everyone. Another day, another failure. Nothing last night, absolutely no runs. Have only one line out right now. It is absolutely freezing cold right now and windy. Right before sunup, it always seems to drop like 20 degrees. So I'm, I hate doing this little vlog situation right now because I'm literally freezing and I just wanna go lie down for like another 45 minutes. But we are about to run lines and I wanted to show you the camp. The water has gone down a lot so it's it's low tide right now we're fixing just to warm up real quick and get lines out but here's what everything looks like right now <sighs> got that moon out still look at how uh how far the tide's gone down i mean it's gone down it's gone down significantly which is cool because we don't have to get crushed by that shore break this morning Alright, it's time to shine. Woo. Beautiful. Oh yo, dude, that is a that's a big redfish, dude. That may be your PB right there. That's a that's in the 40s. Dang dude, that's a monster. Wow. It is. It is chilly. Damn, dude! That's probably the biggest redfish I've seen. That is a big ass redfish, dude. Okay, part of the cool thing about Texas is not the size of the sharks. It's the fact that you can camp on the beach and get firewood. So I'm about to make a huge, as big as I could possibly make, bomb fire by collecting wood. Random wood around there. So my goal is to get a completely massive and uh, that way all the people that fish in California, Florida, all over the place, I want them to hate a little bit. We camp on our beaches. We can't catch fish, we can't catch big fish, but we can camp on our beaches. Easy peasy. All right, recap. Okay, man, so here's the problem with fishing Texas. You know, all these sandbars, we've got three sandbars, one fray, one little nick, and it's over. And as you can see here, I had a good fish, it bent up, and I didn't go to full, but I had about 45 pounds of drag on it, bent over, and then my line broke. So, oh. that's pop, pop, pop. pretty uh, heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking. A lot of work goes into this, but these sandbars are just roofless on our gear. Uh, we gotta, now we gotta just do it again. Get out there and kayak some more. Super heartbreaking, that was a big fish. Oh my god! Oh, it's jumping! It's jumping! It? It's a shark! It's a shark! I can see it on the surface. That's awesome! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We're in business now. We're That's business. a good one, dude. That's a six footer. Yeah. Yeah, we're in business, dude. Woo! 
Giving that rod a workout, bro. There you go, buddy. Woo! This is gonna be one of those nights, my man. It's gonna be one of those nights. Woo! What do you think, a spinner? I'm hoping a sandbar, brother. Because it was a small leader, I didn't want to leader it in. Tail clip. Tape, throw the, throw the cutters. Go ahead. Ready? It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright, bro. It's alright. There you go. Alright, you get on out of here, alright? Tell your friends to come over and say what's up. Alright guys, fixing to uh, fixing to reel in right now and uh, kind of call it a day. Maybe we'll end up with one more sandbar. Uh, I'm not sure. Just to kind of recap on how today went, we're at Matagorda. We finally got one sandbar. We actually got about three runs. We missed about three good fish. And uh, the water cleared up. It got less trashy out there. We used jacks. The problem is why I missed two or three fish, the bait I was using was too big. So we changed our bait to make them smaller. <clears throat> we're using jack. We're going out 250, 200 yards. That's it. And uh, the moon's coming up now. About to reel in, like I said. But uh, if you got jack, come to Matagorda on a cold front. Go about 200, 250 yards. And uh, hopefully you have some sandbars. Pretty fun fish. Other than that, thank you. And uh, good luck to you, Wyatt. We're out.